so to crochet so I thought I would do a really quick video um so in my last video I mentioned that I am course training again and um I would say the last four days I've only trained three out of those four days so um I don't know if I'm gonna be consistent doing it every single day but I want to try so I was literally cleaning up this morning and I found this one. I totally forgot about this corset. So I wanted to show y'all what it's looking like right now. Um, because I thought that the largest corset I had was a 24 and it's not, I have this 26. I thought I had two 26s, but I guess I don't. So this one's a 26 and this is the same corset, I believe as the mesh one. That I shared in my last video only this one is shorter and um, I really really like this is obvious this is one of if you guys have watched me for a while this is definitely one of my favorite corsets only because it is shorter and it so it provides more um, more mobility and um, compared to the other one the other one is fine it's just that it goes so low and it hits on my hips right here and these pressure points and so the last time that I wore it, which was day after last, I had to kind of pull it up just a little bit higher so it wouldn't press on these, on my hips right here. So this is the um, CF, I want to say 340, 441. Y'all, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you would think that I would know. Is it the 441? 345? I don't know. What's your corsets, right? Um... This is one of my favorite corsets. I have probably five of them, this particular type. Um, like I have a basket. Y'all wanna see my basket? This is my basket of corsets, y'all. That's literally in my closet, tucked in a corner. Um, I really can't wait to get back down to size for this leather one, because this is one of my favorite ones. It's, how can you go wrong with leather? Leather is such a sex, satin is sexy too, to be honest. Um, but I think out of all my corsets, I have more cotton ones probably than satin ones. Black brocade. Really, really pretty, right? This is a 22. So a lot of my corsets are 22 inch corsets, which is why I don't have a lot of options when it comes to what I can wear right now. Um, especially with me being a little That's bigger. pretty much where I am right now. Now, I'm actually really excited. I didn't think I would be so excited to uh, start courses training again, but I really, really am. And so, um, this is how I'm wearing it now. This, this one is more clothes in the back, but that's only because it's a bigger corset. It's a 26 inch. And so, um, when you compare it to the mesh one, um, this one is more clothes. So let me show you really, really quick um, how it looks in the back. So it's more closed than the other one. Um, and so yeah, I hope I'm straight back there. I think I am. I think I um, would be um, a pro at this. I feel like I am sometimes, but um, so this is how we're wearing it. I have a liner underneath. Um, I could tighten this more. I know I could, y'all. And part of me wants to, but the other part of said, girl. Girl, take your time. It is no rush. And so, um, and so yes, yeah, so I have this liner underneath and I have a sports bra over it. And then we have on some leggings. And that's pretty much how I'm wearing it. Um, my goal with course of training is to get back into it um, like heavy, like go to the gym at five, home by 6.30, um, get your site off to school, come home, shower, and then lace up and then I'll take it off before I go to bed around six or seven. Two times that I wore that other one, I did fall asleep with it on. It was like a nap type of situation and it actually felt okay. So um, despite what I said, well, I did say that I might start sleeping in it. So this one is much more comfortable to sleep in than the longer corsets are. Um, and not just that, but when you sleep in it, you do want to like loosen it a little bit anyways, just so that you're not uncomfortable. 
So I'm gonna try probably tonight and see how I feel um, sleeping in. We're gonna, we're just gonna see. Um, what time is it now? Cause I just laced up. I know I could tighten it more, but I just do not want to rush the process. Like they say, always trust the process, right? And that's kind of what I'm learning right now, getting back into my fitness and stuff. And like, um, this is my, I started when Josiah went on his, his uh, Christmas vacation. And um, I've gone every day this month so far. Today's the 11th, it's my sister's birthday, my little sister. And so I've gone consistently every day and I feel good about that. Um, and it's just a part of me just, you know, getting back to making it a habit for myself. Um, and so I get up at four, I hit the gym, that's what I do. And it's like, at the end of the day, it's like the only one that I'm really cheating is myself, you know? Um, I, I owe this to myself. Well, not only myself, I owe this to my, my kids. I owe this to my family. You know, but obviously, most importantly, I owe it to myself. And so it's like at the end of the day, I have no excuse not to. Like, YouTube is basically my job, right? Um, and so it's like I have nothing. I have no excuse not to, right? And so that's where I was going with it. So it's it's 1021 right now. I just laced up, I would say probably about 10. And so if I decide to sleep in it, um, Maybe I'll make this a, like a two part. So I'll let you guys know if I decide to sleep in it or not. And I'll just come back tomorrow and let you guys know how it worked out. But as of right now, I feel pretty good. Um, what if you guys are just asking me, what are my body goals? Um, I, I want to feel good. You know, part of, oh, I want to feel great, but I want to look great as well. I would feel more comfortable if I was about 140. Like if I could stay in that 140, 145 range. Um, I have dropped so much lower than that. I've dropped down to about 120, 125 and realized that just that's not the weight that I want to be. That's not where I feel comfortable being. I feel like I just look so underweight. Um, and so that's not where I want to be. I really want to just build more strength and I want to get stronger. And I feel like um, since I've been back at the gym, I do feel stronger. Um, I, I'm constantly trying to challenge myself constantly trying to up my weights, um, push heavier weights. Um, and I think that's always been a goal of mine is to constantly challenge yourself because if you don't challenge yourself, you're, you're going to get complacent and you're going to be in the same rhythm of just pushing the same weight when you really truly could push heavier weights. So that's kind of what my goal is. Um, and so, yeah, that's basically that as far as weight wise, 140, 145. I feel like that's super realistic for me. Um, my diet has been good. Um, I've been getting my water in. This is my second one for today that I'm starting. Um, my goal is to get three of these in. If I can get three of these in per day, I'm happy. Um, and then again, I stopped drinking water about 6 o'clock. 5.36 because I hate getting up to pee. I hate it. And I had to get up twice last night, which sucks because then I have a hard time getting back to sleep. I think the biggest thing with you guys is just trusting the process, you know? Um, it's like I jump on the scale and I don't see a lot of change in the scale, but it's like I do see those non-skill um, victories. Like my face looks so much smaller now than it was before. I feel like my complexion is getting a lot better, even though I've never really had really bad complexion, but um, my skin does look healthier, looks better. Um, I feel better. I feel stronger. I do see the weight loss. I do feel like I have gotten smaller, but it's just jumping on the scale and not seeing it move the way you want, especially when it's like, I know, like, I'm like, damn, girl, what can you do? What else can I do? Like, I'm at the gym every freaking day. You know what I mean? My diet is where it needs to be. Um, I know that there are days where I don't consume as many calories as I probably should. And I feel like that could probably the issue maybe I need to consume more uh, more calories more protein um 
making sure that I consistently get my water in because I know that there can be fluctuations with weight um, when you you know your water's up one day and, and down the next day um, I just gotta trust the process I really just I really do um, if I know that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do and I do see those changes in my body Joseph sees the changes that's that's all that I need right and so I didn't want to make this video too too long so I will see you guys back tomorrow because I want to let you guys know how I did sleep in the corset if I sleep in it y'all it will come off in the morning about five well four when I get up um so that's gonna be like what 15 16 hours so that would end up being like 16 hours so we're gonna see how I feel I'm gonna let you guys know tomorrow how how everything went and so other than that, I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Okay, so I was in the middle of editing and realized that I did not close this video out. So listen, Josiah sounds serious playing this game, my little human being. And if you happen to hear him, just, you know, ignore it. You know, he does not like to lose. And so he expresses himself uh, very well <laughs> as far as that. Well, listen, so I did sleep in my corset last night. It felt fine. I actually ended up closing it more. Um... I was comfortable all night. I was perfectly fine. Um, my back wasn't as stiff um, this time around, at least not from what I re remember it being in the past. So that's a good thing. So I'll probably be sleeping in my corset a lot more um, often. I did do a little clip, so I'll probably insert that clip as well. Um, but yeah, so I am wearing it now. Obviously, this is where we are right now okay um it's it's i thought it was closed but i think it slipped a little when i um once i tied it it kind of slipped so it's not as closed as i wanted it to be but it's okay all right so this is where i am now again this is 26 inch corset when it's closed um and that's what the back is looking like um Really, right. really quick. So, if I didn't mention it in the previous clip, what my goal is, is to wear this one. Um, it's pretty, com pretty comfortable now. Like, I don't have any kind of, you know, labored breathing or anything like that. So, it doesn't feel super tight. Um, so, once I wear this one closed for, I would say, a nice amount of time, once it starts to feel like it's looser... I'll transition into the 24 inch once I get that one closed um, and wear that one comfortably to the point where it is looser I'll then transition into the 22 inch corset so that's kind of what my goal is as far as corset training is because I don't know if I said my goals as far as corset training or not it was in the previous clip I will um, give you guys another um, update probably I'll probably try to do a video for you guys early next week i am weighing myself once a week and i am also taking a picture as well that way if i don't see what i want to see on the scale or it doesn't make me happy <laughs> then i at least will have the pictures to kind of fall back on and maybe see changes there so i will be taking a picture same day of the week um every week um and i'll probably do a video and i'll show you some befores and now um, as well for that other than that you guys thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one